to let your customers to choose delivery time and date for their order and make a better user experience for them? Delivery scheduling plugin is what you're looking for. In this video, we are going to show you how amazing this plugin is and how you can handle it in administrator area. First, let's take a look at checkout process and see how this plugin looks like and how customers can use it. There are two shipping methods here and customers can choose a method which is more suitable for them. In the below, you can see a list of dates and time ranges within a week from tomorrow to 7 days later. Some of time ranges, as you can see, have a label as booked up. It means that no capacity is left for these specific time ranges. Now if we choose this time and finish checkout process, we can see the chosen time in our orders detail page. As for administrator area, if the plugin is installed, you'll be able to see these items in the menu. The first link is setting. Second one is where you can define time ranges. Third one is where you can define a load capacities per weekdays and time ranges. The other one is for defining special capacities for special days which I'll explain later. And the last one is where you can see a list of placed orders according to time ranges and sort them by shipping method. In the setting page, you see enable checkbox. Obviously, if it's unchecked, the plugin is not working and customers won't see dates and time below the shipping method in the checking process. Next one is number of display days. You can select the number of days which customers can choose from and select them. If you set the value as 7, the customers see 7 days that are available for selecting them. Start display days offset. This indicates the time interval between order's date and first available delivery day. For example, we set the value as 1 and it means that if anyone submit an order today, the first available choice is going to be tomorrow. A good thing about this plugin is that it is usable for multi store and commerce systems and every single store can have its own delivery configuration. You can choose your store at the top of the page and configure it. Delivery time ranges list To define time ranges, first step is to choose the store. If you haven't defined any time ranges before, you will see a blank page like this. Click on Add Delivery Time Range button to define a time range. In this new page, define the time range, I enter 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. and another one, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. After entering the time ranges, they should be confirmed. If not, they won't be shown in the store. After confirmation, editing the page is not possible. Administrator only can delete them. If primary time ranges are deleted and other data is entered, the secondary data will be available for customers in the shop. Please note that these are string data, not numerical, so no validation is set on them and customizing according to every language is possible. Also, final validation must be done by administrator. Manage delivery date capacities To define capacities, the first thing to do is to select the shipping method. Each shipping method has a table of capacities. As you can see, capacities are according to weekdays and time ranges we defined in previous step. Primary values of this table are zero, and you can enter your ideal capacities. For example, and we save it. 
A link has been provided to generate and export according to real dates, time ranges, and remaining capacities of upcoming days. Considering the effect of exception dates, it calculates the number of submitted orders for defined capacities and shows the final result. Manage exception dates. In this page, you can define exception dates for special occasions. For example, it's holiday and you don't have any shipping. Or maybe it's near Black Friday and you want to increase the demand of your shippings. To define an exception, click on this button. In this new page, define the title of the occasion. Please remember that this field is optional and only admin can see the name. Then select the date. It. Then we go to the timetable tab. We can define the exceptional capacities for all the shipping methods. Define new capacity per time ranges and save the page. We can generate and export here too to see the final results of capacities. Please note that. The exception days capacities have more priority than ordinary capacities. For example, if the primary capacity is 10 and exception capacity is 0, then the final capacity will be 0. Order delivery date list Whoever is working with panel needs a list of placed orders to see how many orders must be sent in defined time ranges. You can filter orders by shipping method and date. Also, by installing the plugin, a tab will be added to the order details page which represents the selected delivery range of an order. Considerations like an installation process, the value of bypass shipping method selection if only one should be set as false in the settings. For proper functioning on this plugin in special occasions, this value shouldn't change. If the plugin is installed, time ranges must be defined as soon as possible. Otherwise, customers won't be able to complete checkout process. It is very important for shops which already have debuted. In Upcommerce, dedicated delivery time ranges are definable for every product. This feature is not related to delivery scheduling plugin. Checking the contradiction in case of using both of them should be done by administrator. Now, if we go to the shop and checkout process, then we have capacities for this method and customers can choose a suitable time for delivering. I hope this video was helpful for you to make a great user experience for your customers.